So as Ben mentioned, this originally had a four inch uh, inlet or intake pipe with the MAF um, kind of positioned over here. It was a little bit too close to the compressor wheel. So the pulsation from, you know, air surging back and forth in front of that wheel was causing some scattering at the uh, MAF signal. We've now gone to a three inch, positioned it slightly out of the way and also tucked it through the uh, kind of bumper bar here try to pick up some colder air. Also getting an idea on routing for a future um, intercooler kit, which will probably hang off this crash bar. So lots of fabrication in this kind of beta test mode right now. <laughs> so we're just uh, gonna load a new tune onto this thing. Uh, I just put a new uh, MAF housing on this thing, MAF housing slash turbo inlet. We're having some uh, low RPM drivability issues with the four inch map housing. So I fabricated a new one and uh, now we've got to load this other tune on that uh, is adjusted for the different size map housing. Again? All right, so we're going for a test drive with the new turbo inlet on this thing. Uh, idles way better now. Uh, still surging like a little bit, but I think that's uh, just something the tuner has to sort out. So I'm gonna go get a data log and uh, send that off to him and should be good after that. And we're off to the dyno on Wednesday. thing um, so we got the intercooler mounted here uh, it's mounted to this uh, crash bar I made uh, this has been on the car for a little while so it's a little rusty we'll be selling them uh, painted and coated depending on what you want uh, but yeah the uh, intercooler pipes they come up under the headlights and uh, Still got to build the top uh, pipes, so this this pipe is gonna come over into the compressor outlet here. Throttle body is gonna come into this pipe over here. Uh, we'll have a map sensor there, and then uh, this is the same turbo that was on the non-intercooled setup. Uh, kind of built this with the idea that you can just 
uh, convert it from intercooled or non-intercooled to intercooled if you want. So it's basically just a matter of um, clogging the compressor housing using the right charge pipe for the uh, non-intercooled setup. And then you rotate it back this way when you want to go intercooled and then it'll be, then you'll just hook up the intercooled pipes. So yeah, we'll uh, be finishing this up in the next day or so. And then the next day, uh, it's booked to go on the dyno. So we'll be dyno testing the car with the non-intercooled setup and the intercooled setup. Uh, one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna push the non-intercooled setup as far as we can on pump gas. And then just with the same boost and everything, we're gonna, we're gonna test, we're gonna hook up the intercooled piping with the intercooler and all that. And we're gonna see how much power uh, the car picks up at the same boost level. Uh, so that should be interesting. And then from there, we're gonna turn it up to 14, 18 pounds, somewhere, something like that. We'll see, see how the car performs on the dyno and kind of gauge things in that regard to where we stop. So yeah. Next video, we'll uh, have all this piping all together, and and then on Wednesday we'll be going to the dyno, and we'll we'll make a whole video out of that for you guys. <clears throat>
I just got to change the fuel pump on it before I go. Uh, still, I got the stock fuel pump. Um, but yeah, we're gonna first we're gonna dyno tune it with the non intercooled setup. We're gonna push that setup, see how it does, and then we're gonna throw the intercooled setup on and keep it totally the same, uh, same boost, same timing, and all that stuff. Let's see how much power it picks up just on the just with the intercooler kit installed. And then probably from there, we'll even try and push the timing a little further just to see at the same boost level, same fuel, uh, what the, the intercooler uh, allows it to pick up. And then from there, we'll start turning the boost up and uh, see what happens. So yeah, that's our uh, last, this is our last uh, little update on this thing before we go on the dyno. And uh, we should have a bunch of dyno footage for you not tomorrow, hopefully the next day. So uh, check back. Like and subscribe.